Atlanta police are searching for at least two gunmen who opened fire on a Southwest Atlanta home and killed a grandmother who was holding her grandson. Thanks so much for joining us today. For Fox 5 News at 4, I'm Christine Spiro. The deadly shooting happened around 5 o'clock this morning on Highview Road off Beecher Road. Fox 5's Angelique Proctor talked with the woman's family. She joins us live from the Zone 4 precinct with what they had to say. Angelique, they have to be devastated. Oh, absolutely. This family is just heartbroken. They say this grandmother was the nucleus of their family, and they say that uh, they also considered her a hero because she was actually holding her two-month-old grandson and trying to protect him when she was shot. I'd say somewhere between six, seven shots. And it was just straight on fire. Like you said, there might have been two shooters. Neighbors say multiple shots rang out about 5 a.m. Tuesday morning in this normally quiet neighborhood on Highview Road off of Beecher Road in southwest Atlanta. Relatives say 57-year-old Andrea Brown was holding and shielding her two-month-old grandson, Chosen, whom you see here when the gunman opened fire on her home. They were shooting from the street into the house, uh, indiscriminately into the house, and on, uh, this woman uh, was shot while she was in her room. There were several occupants in the house, including children, so uh, <clears throat> the suspects um, just shot into this house and uh, didn't care for life. Miss Brown was the only one hit. Paramedics rushed the mother and grandmother to Grady Hospital, but she didn't survive. Police say the house was targeted, but the bullets were intended for someone else. It's not a random uh, incident. This house was targeted, and as stated earlier, working to identify the suspects. Meantime, neighbors say they regret the deadly shooting, but are not surprised by the violence at this particular home. If she was an innocent victim, then apparently that she wasn't the target, then will they come back and get the target? Now, this family did have security cameras up, so police are hopeful that they can get some valuable information from those cameras. We are live in southwest Atlanta. Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News.